is the ability to record using 32-bit float as the bit depth. Now, what does that mean? Well, you might be aware that 16-bit and 24-bit are pretty common bit rates for things like your audio interfaces to record using. However, these days, a lot of more modern interfaces use 32-bit float. The advantage of this is that it actually gives you more dynamic range. It means you can record quieter and turn up your volume later in the mix, or you can record louder. And even if you get a little bit of clipping at the top, end you can pull the volume down and it's not going to be as much of a problem so it helps you set the level what we're going to do is go up to the very top right corner and tap on this icon the three dots and then we're going to hit the settings button here and jump into our settings where we need to go to change this is under our app settings and under our recording the third one down here your file type is either AIFF or wave hopefully and the bit depth which has previously only been able to go up to 24 bit we can now I'll set this to 32 bit float. Now, if you're not using a 32 bit audio interface, there's not going to be a whole lot of difference here, to be very honest. But if you do have a 32 bit compatible interface like mine, which is the Steinberg UR22C, then we can actually enable that. You might as well turn it on because maybe in the future you are going to upgrade and you might as well have things set to the highest bit rate. But if you want to watch your file sizes and make sure that everything's fully compatible, you can leave that on 24 bit. And then when you go to record, everything works exactly as it did before for recording your vocals and your guitars, except you're going to have a little bit more leeway when it comes to the noise floor and when it comes to clipping at the top end of your signal.